Hey everybody, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com and thank you as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm giving you an exclusive recipe. I'm going to show you how you can make an Americano coffee drink by making use of the Verismo machine by Starbucks. This is a brand new entry into the world of single serve coffee. You can check out our other videos for some more recipes and an overview on the machine. But in today's video, as I say, going to show you how to make an Americano quick and easy using the Verismo. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how simple it is. Now the operation of the machine is very, uh, very simple, which I really like. Keeps it simple, makes it easy when you just need a cup of coffee in the morning and you want to get going. Let me show you one of the first most important things that you need to do with this machine, however, before you start brewing your coffee. When you first turn the machine on, because it's going to go to sleep after 30 minutes to save energy, you do need to run a rinse cycle. And I found that it's good to run a rinse cycle on the machine sort of before you make just about any drink because that gets the machine primed and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bottom tray right now and I'm going to pull out the silver, the uh, metal drain and pop that onto the bottom. The reason I'm going to do this is so that I can put in a much larger tumbler. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, brew some hot water, just regular hot water, into this cup. And I'm going to do that by pressing the first button, which is the rinse button. So I'm just going to press that once. Now what this is going to do is this is going to clean out the machine. That's one of the first good things about this because this is going to get any coffee residue out of there and make sure that you have the best possible brew that you can get. Also, depending on what kind of cup you may be using, this is a good way to be able to get your, uh, your cup or your shot glass or something like that nice and warm for your coffee. It doesn't use too much water, you're gonna notice as well. And so that's nice because there is a 33 ounce tank on this machine and that way you don't have to refill it too much. So now that I've done that, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, actually leave that tray there on the bottom because when I put on this tray, it's just a little bit hard to fit uh, larger cups onto there. Even this one, which is not too tall, doesn't fit if I have that original tray on there. So I'm just going to use the regular uh, lower tray that I've been utilizing right there. Now, in order to start making the Americano, it's really easy. I'm going to pop the lever on the top of the machine, and then I'm going to grab a Verismo pod. Now there's two types of Verismo pods, actually there's three. You've got milk pods for making cafe lattes, you have brewed coffee pods which make just regular cups of coffee, and then you have what I have here which is an espresso pod. Now this pod is different from the brewed coffee pods in the Verismo line because it does not have a silver seal on the bottom of it. That seal on the other pods is what you pull off first before brewing, but with the espresso pods you don't need to do that. So all you need to do is just grab one of these pods out of the flip top box that the Verismo pods come in, take that pod, and then drop it into the top of the machine. Now the slot on the top of the machine is the same size and shape as the Verismo pod, so there's no way that you can really do this wrong. Pop that pod in and close up the lever. Now you're going to hear and feel the lever puncturing that pod, which means that it's ready to brew. Now all we need to do is go ahead and press the first button. Now remember, I use that for rinsing. This is also the button which you use for making a single shot of espresso. So let's go ahead and press that and start the brew process. Now there's a 19 bar pressure pump in the Verismo. And so that is uh, higher than the standard for your average espresso machine, which is good because that means that you're going to get a nice shot of espresso. You're going to notice I have good layering going on here, crema on the top, and then as I go down, I have the various layers and colors of my espresso shot. And as I let that rest a little bit, I can see that layering start to settle. So that's good. That's one of the things that you get out of that pressure pump. Now, making an Americano, as we've talked about before, an Americano is very simply a shot of espresso, sometimes two shots, depending on the strength of your drink, how you like it to be, and then we just add some hot water to that. So that's real easy to do with the Verismo. We just pop this lever up, and now without inserting a pod, we just close the lever back down. Now this is just the same as running a rinse cycle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the second button, which is the brewed coffee button. Now this is going to give me more water than I necessarily need, but this will let me also adjust how much water I want in my drink and adjust the strength. So I'm just gonna press that second button and let the brewing start. So now all this is is going to be hot water, and this allows me to choose how strong I would like my drink to be. And the way that I do that is by simply waiting until my drink is at about where I want it to be. And then all I need to do 
is press that second button one more time, and that'll stop the water from flowing. Now, if I want to add a little bit more again, just press that button. So this will let you really dial in the exact strength and flavor of your drink. Now an Americano, generally you want uh, a little bit more hot water, obviously, than you do espresso, but you don't want to water it down too much. So you'll want to experiment. If you want to keep this automated, simply use that first button, but you may find that that's a little uh, too, that that may be too little hot water in order to adjust the strength of your beverage. When you're all done, there's no cleanup because you've already opened the lever and let the empty pod drop down and into the storage container, which is right below the brew station right here. So now, there you go. That's your Americano ready to go. You can add some cream to this, add some sugar, or just drink it straight and, of course, get on the road and start your day. So very easy to make these drinks with the Verismo. It's something that I do very much like about the Verismo machine is the simplicity of it. And I think that you guys will hopefully enjoy that as well. So make sure to check out our other videos. We've got lots of exclusive recipes and overviews of the Verismo for you guys here on aromacup.com. As always, I'm Brian coming to you from my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. And enjoy your cup. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.